Um, Jake, I've got an 11-month-old English Springer, keen with you around the garden, but on the field, not interested, just on the, once running around. Would you stop her running around and knowing that I leave my side if she's going on a retreat? Um, yes and no, Jake. So you, it's about making yourself the most important and most interesting thing uh, on your dog walk. And so I would be taking a toy out or, you know, a little scooby to get your dog's attention. I wouldn't start retrieving initially um, because you would just get frustrated. What I would do instead is work on your connection when you're out on the walk. So, um, you know, there's games you can play. There's games in the pet gun dog books. Um, I don't really do the throwing food and bringing them back when I'm walking. I do that very much as a as an exercise to train uh, a recall or to train a really good out and back. But what you can do, and what I do on walks, is I regularly call my dogs back. Um, you know, I go, dogs, come on, and then they come over and I give them like a little tickle or ear massage, or I'll get a toy out and play tuggy with them. Um, or I'll wait until they're so far away and I'll change direction. And I shout, this way, dogs, and the dogs will go charging past me. And as soon as they've gone past me, I go this way and I change direction again. And so I do lots of interaction with my dogs on the walk. Um, I don't so much on a Wednesday I do before I go live on a Wednesday and I do after I go live on a Wednesday um, but when I'm live I don't, I concentrate more on talking, so that's what I would do I would um, I would spend some time interacting with your dog on the wall, making it so you're the most important thing I would take um, a handful of shaped biscuits or something that you can see is it a she? yes something that you can see when you throw and practice your stop whistle you know so um you, you could do a double peep on the whistle and as soon as she turns throw the the shape out beside you so she can see it land um do lots of stop whistles and again use the shape and then just get her focus back on you you're the most interesting most exciting thing on the walk and once you've got that connection on your walk then i would start retrieving because otherwise you're going to set your dog up to fail you throw um, you, you, you know, you throw the retrieve and the dog goes, I'm just not interested. And so you're then setting her up to fail because you're repeating a behaviour that you do not want to see repeated. And so I would give that a go.